this same challenge that I said yesterday is what Jesus launched out to the rich young man. Matthew chapter 19, 16. Matthew 19, 16. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And now a man came up to him and asked, Master, what good must I do to possess eternal life? Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? And then there is no one who is good. And Jesus continued to expound. And um, in verse, let us see where it is, around 22. But the young man, Jesus said, if you wish to be perfect, remember we looked at the word perfect some time ago, go sell your possession, give all your money to the poor, and you will have treasures in heaven. Then come follow me. If you wish to be perfect, if that perfection is so, uh, what, that, that is so what, profound, that desire to, to have perfection is so deep, make that challenge, make that transition now and come and follow me. We look at Mark 10, 17 to 22. We look at Matthew, now we look at Mark 10. 17 Jesus was setting out on a journey when a man ran up knelt before him and put a question to him good master what must I do to inherit eternal life Jesus said to him why do you call me good no one is good but God alone you know the commandments and the man said master I have kept all these since my earliest days Jesus looked at him and loved him because he saw potential, but that potential wasn't deep enough. Go sell your wealth, come back here and follow me. But his face fell at the words and he went away sad for he was a man of great wealth. So we stop there today. Tomorrow, please God, we will continue with this hunger and thirst. And I'll give you more examples. So as we go along, we will get clearer and a better understanding of. Happy are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied.